The final 2009 Technical Achievement Award is presented to Sajil Das for pioneering contributions to sensor networks. And humbled to receive 2009 IEEE Computer Society Technical Achievement Award. My heartfelt thanks to the IEEE Computer Society Award Committee, the nominator, Diane Cook, and those who wrote strong letters to support my nomination. For this special recognition and my accomplishments, in general, I owe a lot to my students and colleagues for their fine collaborations over the past 20 years. They have contributed significantly to enrich my research program and my personal and professional growth. Indeed, they made me proud winner this evening. Now, initially, I thought that I'll talk about my own research work in sensor networks, but I have a bad habit of giving homeworks when I give a lecture. <laughs> <laughs> and my wife thought that that won't be appropriate for this evening. So I thought I'll talk about something more intimately related to my profession. One aspect is research, another aspect is my teaching. And I think, or in my opinion, that teaching and research are so indistinguishable. One complements other. So let me focus on my philosophy of teaching and focus on that rather than the sense of networking research. Now, in the famous book, A Mathematician's Apology, the noted English mathematician G.H. Hardy writes, a man who sets out to justify his existence and his activities has to distinguish, distinguish two different questions. Number one, whether the work he is doing is worth doing. And number two, why does he do it? Now he then claims that most people will find the second question easier to answer. Their answers, if they are honest, are merely a humbler variation of I do what I do because it is the one and only thing that I can do at all well. And for me too, it is the passion and love for education, teaching and research which made me who I am and what I am today. I'm a researcher, but the first and foremost, I'm a teacher. As I mentioned, the teaching and research is indistinguishable, as we all know. Now, as a child, I cherished to be a teacher because my dad was an elementary school teacher. And I thought that, yes, teachers are very well respected, cool thing to do, and I can be a lifelong learner because the best definition of teacher is a lifelong learner. And my dad was a good inspirator and motivator to me. And although he did not have his college education, but through his life experience and wisdom, he imparted all of us, our siblings and all, the value and passion for education. Uh, so in my opinion, there's no difference between a teacher and a student. A student, student today's student will be teacher tomorrow and that chain will just continue like that. So we'll basically, as a teacher and a student, are two sides of the same coin, and they complement each other. And there's a place for mutual learning. And from students, we learn so many different things, because when I teach in a class, for example, of 30 students, I get 30 different types of ideas that flow. So I'm receptive to that, and that's the way I enrich myself. So in all, all this context, actually, we enrich ourselves as a teacher by learning from the students throughout our whole life. Now, what kind of teaching do I believe in? According to the famous Indian philosopher Swami Vivekananda, education is the manifestation of the perfection already in man. And I find that that's a very profound definition of education. So every human being has tremendous potential, and that can be manifested through proper education. And I believe in that total education, which is man-making and character building, not just limited by the classroom education or by the degrees. So therefore, as a teacher, I have a greater mission and responsibility to the society that is not merely bounded by the teaching lessons inside the classrooms. I am committed to impart to our students that quality of training and education that brings in individual, that is microcosmic, as well as the collective, which is macrocosmic goodness for the society at all levels, be it physical, mental, intellectual, and spiritual. So my teaching, teaching philosophy can best be described from a quote by the famous Indian poet Rabindranath Tagore, who got Nobel Prize in Literature in 1913. 
A teacher can never truly teach unless he is still learning himself. A lamp can never burn, can, and a lamp can never light another lamp unless it continues to burn its own flame. The teacher who has come to the end of his subject, who has no living traffic with his knowledge, but merely repeats his lesson to the students, can only load their minds, he cannot quicken them. I would like to dedicate this prestigious award to my family, my parents, my lovely wife, and two young, wonderful kids. So my wife, Nandini Das, and my younger son, Sayok Rivu Das, are here with us to celebrate this auspicious moment with me. We are missing our older kid, Shomak Das, who is in the 11th grade. He's stayed back home for other commitments. Finally, I appreciate ITB Computer Society's uh, recognition and appreciation, and I'm really humbled to receive this Technical Achievement Award. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening.